10 bad smelling flowers and their use in landscaping the blossoms of spring hold a special place in our hearts an observation that is doubly true for those who garden in the north and must endure long harsh winters a subset of spring bloomers remarkable in its diversity is the group are known as the spring bulb plants Consider, for example, just the range in height from the tiny snowdrops to the rather imposing crown imperial, Fritillaria imperialis. Your first thought when you hear, alyssum, may be of a white annual used as a bedding plant, sweet alyssum. The, sweet, in that plant's name is there for a reason, it is sweet-scented. Candytuff blooms at about the same time, mid-spring to late spring in USDA Zone 5, as yellow alyssum and its use in landscaping is also as a ground cover. With a name that has candy in it, you might assume that its blossoms have a sweet scent, but you would be wrong. Candytuff does not stink to high heaven, it's just that sticking your nose into them to take a sniff will likely end up a mildly unpleasant experience for you. So far, the examples listed, despite bearing bad-smelling flowers, are plants that are nonetheless generally recommended for use in your landscaping. Bradford pear trees, however, are not. One associates certain plants with certain places. For example, a friend vacations every spring in Maine, USA, carefully observing what plants the locals use in their landscaping. If he has been sufficiently inspired, he may look up the plant at a nursery, bring it home with him and plant it in his yard. Forever afterward, he will associate it with Maine. Do you endeavor to landscape for the four seasons, so that there is something to catch the eye regardless of the time of year? If so, then mountain ash trees may be of use in your landscaping, they possess three noteworthy attributes, spread across three seasons. Trillium is a wildflower. Although some gardeners purchase it at specialty nurseries for use in their landscaping, you are more likely to encounter this plant in the woods. Indeed, if you were to use this plant in landscaping, it would be most effective in woodland gardens, since it is a shade plant. The trillium with which people are most familiar is native to North America. Perhaps only some butterfly bush shrubs produce really bad smelling flowers, but the plants are generally grown for something other than their fragrance. Fortunately, butterflies find them plenty redolent, Budlia is a major magnet for butterflies. Tree of Heaven Ailanthus aldecima is unequivocally invasive, and its blossoms are unequivocally stinky. No use in your landscaping for this one, folks. But a picture of it is included here for identification purposes, in case you've spotted this Chinese native somewhere and wondered, what the heck is that? Although it looks like it belongs on an island bathed by tropical waters, Dragon Lily, Dracunculus vulgaris, is cold hardy to planting Zone 5. There's a similar plant named, Snake Lily, Amorphophallus conjac, but it is hardy only to Zone 8. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.